Okay, disclaimer. This is just an opinion. Please don't kill me or anything or whatever. But it's just an opinion. I'm not a professional reviewer by any means. But I like to, you know, be confident that I have a good eye for things. So, anyways, down to business. Also, just in case, no spoilers. Don't worry about it. We're good. Man, I love horror movies. They can go from bad to good, and I still watch them. All right, maybe not the nun too. I get it, I get it, get it. But damn, do I have a movie for y'all? Listen, that movie is called Smile 2, baby. Okay, I want to come clear, and I really mean it by this. I honestly did not want a sequel for this. So hearing for another Smile movie... I'm just gonna be honest, I was scared. I thought they were, they were just gonna bomb it, but I was really surprised when I went into the theater. So, did Smile 2 deliver? Hell yeah, it did. Like, it's not even a question, man. Dude, the movie cinematography kept me on the edge of my chair. I generally thought there wasn't gonna be a really, really good horror film this year, but holy moly, Smile 2 just took the entire cake for horror movies this year. And it made me make a video about it. Man, I really wish I could talk about horror movies more with people. But honestly, it just kind of sucks that most of the time I'm in a conversation with someone and the horror genre just pops out, right? It generally just goes, Yo, um, so you like horror movies? What? Horror movies? I, I don't like horror movies. They make me feel weird. I mean, yeah, but that's kind of the point. But okay, listen, not giving them a chance is plain dismissive. I mean, you know, come on, I'll, I'll show you a movie that you- No! Plus, horror movies are just bad. Anyways, I don't wanna- I don't wanna waste my time. They're just- I, I don't like them. Okay, if you- you know, if you, if you say so. Yeah, but I'm here to try my best to convince you that this movie is worth the watch. Like, seriously, the music in it is so good. I wish I could show you, but I really don't want to risk a uh, copyright strike by showing clips and bits from the movie. So here, have a spinning cat. Anyways, please, I'm begging you on my hands and knees to trust that this movie's music composition is so, so, so good. It has this cyberpunkish, glitchy, ambience, ominous feel about it that it just oozes style. The camera shots are some of the cleanest and nicest shots of transition that I've seen throughout this year in horror films. Bro, don't even get me started on the acting. The acting is insane. I can't think of one actor in that movie who did not enjoy the role. Because to me, while watching it, it just felt like everyone genuinely liked being in this movie. Maybe except the protagonist's friend, but even then, it wasn't too jarring. Overall, really great performances by everyone. Okay, it's so hard without getting into spoilers here, which I'm not, but there's a moment in the movie where they have these gymnastic professional hand dancers or whatever they are. I don't really know the name. They m morph into this creature and it's really cool. I'm not going to describe it because I want you guys to watch this movie. And speaking of like the creature, right? The scares. Do they keep up? Woo! 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 Yo, I never felt so anxious in a movie since It Follows. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the movie did a really good job in making you feel anxious and scared. And, and the jump scares weren't that predictable either. It, it was just really hard to keep track sometimes. Again, the types of scares that this movie offers are so good and they're psychological. They play around you. It, it does a good job of juking you and, and mixing you up, you know? I, I am not gonna explain further how the creature works if you haven't watched it. So, I'm just gonna give you an idea how the horror works. Yo, hey, you down for some pizza? I'll go on ahead and... What, what are you doing? What are you looking at? Jesus Christ, you scared me. Don't you see it? What, what are... See what, man? Uh, there's nothing there.
Dude, there was nothing there. What are you talking about? D dude, I I'm serious. There's something like... You got you gotta believe me, man. I I I I I. I so yeah, honestly, it's really hard for me to think of something bad for this movie. Maybe that the subtle foreshadowing was a bit too much for my personal taste. And maybe the idea that if you watch the first film and you come watching the second one, the outcome of things could be a bit predictable, maybe. Mm, not really, I don't know. <laughs> but frankly, I really don't think it's that bad. And honestly, I think you'll enjoy this movie even if you didn't watch the first film. So if you're looking for a good ass scare and tense storytelling, go watch this film like right now. Seriously, this movie's really good. What do you mean you gotta work? No, stop working. Quit. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. Stop working. Right. Go watch this movie. Why fucking? Yo, can't believe you actually sat here and listened to me lacing this movie. You're the goat for that. If you guys enjoy stuff like this or not, make sure to comment and subscribe. You know, you never know. I'm not the most active YouTuber because you gotta be an adult and stuff. So I just make stuff to share it because I like doing that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.